I promised you more information on the new for 2008 direct injected 3.6 liter V6. Why don't I start by telling you what direct injection is? By it's firing fuel directly into the combustion chamber rather than into the intake or the ports. What that does is it helps almost everything. More power, 304 horsepower. More torque, 273 pound-feet of torque. Better mileage, 17 city, 26 highway estimated EPA. And reduced emissions. It's better all the way around. Well, if it was easy, everyone would do it. It's not. You've got to pressurize the fuel up to 1,500 pounds per square inch. Special fuel pump, special injectors. Also, things like to reduce noise. The double overhead cams are silent chain driven. They actually have an inverted tooth design on the sprocket. It spreads out the period of engagement between the chain and the sprocket where the noise comes from, reducing noise. Specifics on the engine, 24 valves. You've got an electronic throttle control. Aluminum block and cylinder heads. Less weight, better fuel efficiency. Polymer coated piston skirt. Variable valve timing. Also new for 2008 is the transmission I raved about during the ride along. It's a technologically advanced hydromatic six speed automatic. But a great engine and transmission are nothing unless they're made into a capable chassis. We've talked a lot about being tuned at the Nurburgring. Well, what does that mean? Well, in every other circle, people talk about street cred. In performance driving circles, you need ring cred. And to show you that's not just marketing veneer, take a look at this. Do they need a brace that looks like it's straight out of a race car? Could have made it out of steel? No. Let's make it out of aluminum. Save a couple extra pounds up high exactly where you want to save the weight. But it's that kind of commitment that's going to allow them to continue to encroach on the space that used to be exclusively the German car's territory.